With more information we are being given about Doom Patrol, it just makes me wish Season 2 was already here. What's up, YouTubers of the world? Mickey Geek Mixer here to give you guys my thoughts on a few photos and teasers that were given to us for Season 2 and the teaser we're given for the premiere. And guys, I just gotta say, first off, the poster we were given that's supposed to represent Season 2, I love it, and it really, first off, gives us a better look at Dorothy's face because we all know that in the comics, she's, she looks like a little girl, but she has a, a not a normal face like everyone else and yeah to find out it is this I'm not surprised here because when we found out that Niles Calder had a daughter that being Dorothy it was pretty clear who the mother was because we saw it through season one when we learned of Niles Calden's past and everything and I gotta say if anything I want to hope we can get a little more on their relationship but considering how what we saw with from what I can remember with the episode that was showing us there I don't think we'll get too much more of it, but I would like to believe we'll get some flashbacks of Niles Colder and his daughter and how things were after they after she was given birth. I mean, after she was born. You know what? That makes me think now that yes, there is a chance we could still see Niles' wife, that that wolf lady, and see how Dorothy came to be before she ended up being where she was and and Danny the Street, and maybe also help us see how Niles Calder will have met Danny the Street, and how they met, how they got acquainted for all this time and everything, and yeah, no doubt this will all juncture in with with the past, showing us what happens in the past, to something going on in the present where the Doom Patrol is going to be involved in it. Because let's face it, guys, we haven't seen the last of Danny the Street. That's for sure. As a matter of fact, the last we remember, if the last thing I can remember, he, Danny the Street was like, not completely destroyed, but pretty much run down, thanks to, well, a giant kaiju, as you would say, sort of battle. Somewhat so. <laughs> Oh, I'll never get over that one scene. Well, uh, actually, I'll let you guys see it. Yeah, I'm talking about that scene. I'll never forget it. But back on track here, guys. What I'm saying is, after that whole incident there with Mr. Nobody, the rat and the cockroach, Danny the Street, from what it was shown, what it looks like to us, was only left with just a brick. But that's not to say that he still can't rebuild himself or anything. But now... But yeah, that's all I wanted to say right there on that end. Now, ask for Dorothy herself and seeing what her face looks like. I gotta say, yeah, as I said before, it makes sense that her face is like that, considering that if she's the that she's the daughter of that wolf woman there. And yeah, to find out about more about her powers and how she can make make her imaginary friends come to life and let's face it now we know even more better than ever how Dorothy's powers is dangerous because let's face it a little kid who has powers like that and you know little kids they have a man better yet let me put it this way an expansion of imaginations yes an expansion of imagination so you can only imagine how crazy powers like that would be in the hands of a little girl or a little boy or for that matter a, a, a a girl such as Dorothy, a very special one, I might add. So yes, this is very interesting and very and very convincing to say what what more we can expect out of her powers associating with the Doom Patrol. And speaking of which, it wasn't just this poster that we were given to show us more of, like um. First off, the poster just shows the Doom Patrol, Niles and Dorothy, and then some sort of colorful little place, which makes total sense when you consider Doom Patrol, like how very random and and unpredictable it is, but has some very colorfulness to it. It's able to balance out the colorful aspects of the show with the dark aspects and mix it into something you cannot expect out of a show like this. But still, also to look at it, you can also tell what I said about Danny the Street. Maybe this is like a representation of Danny the Street. I don't know. What if Danny the Street now becomes part of the mansion? Like, it reforms itself into something new to where Danny the Street now lives with the Doom Patrol in that mansion. There's a possibility right there, and I really do like it. 
And of course, in that poster, you also got the Doom Patrol themselves right behind Niles and his daughter. And yeah, they all look pretty much the same, looking like they always do. But yeah, I've spoken before in my previous video how no doubt they'll be going in new directions and everything. And as a matter of fact, guys, be on the lookout as I start to make uh, um, videos about each of them specifically. I said I actually also need to make a video out on... On my favorite characters and I just want you to know there are two of them but I got but I'm gonna admit to you guys I love them all in general I I love them all for the different reasons but two are my favorites I can't pick between those two but now saying all that we got also mention how it wasn't just that poster we were given that gave us that gave us hints to what's coming in the season premiere. We were also given at least two images to show us exactly like a screenshot about some of the characters that'll be involved. Like for one instance, we were shown Dorothy running with Cliff, what looks to be, if I'm remembering correctly, in Cliff's racetrack with all those plastic models and everything. Because yeah, if you guys remember in season one, he had a racetrack he was building after coming to life and realizing he's now a robot man inside a robot body and stuff. Just trying to find a way to get around in life after at first being lied to by Niles that his daughter was alive. Which, speaking of which, I hope we get a little of that in season two about him trying to reconnect reconnect with his daughter that's just but that all about the way for another video either way though it shows him running with Dorothy as she's running to who knows what probably just trying to get out or just trying to run around and stuff because kids you never you know how they are they they got a lot of energy you gotta burn out that energy and stuff I can't help but wonder if this may also show Cliff trying to find something of a regularization for himself for what for his lousiness as a father and trying to help her out in general. Not trying to replace the chief, just trying to fill a void in for him, so to speak, but not trying to replace the chief as her being hit as being a father to her, Dorothy. But, with that one out, out of the way, there was also one other one that really took me by surprise. And that was in the fact that we are getting the return of a character we got back in episode 4 and episode 5. And that was uh, basically Doom Patrol's own, own Johnny Constantine, with this guy being named Willoughby Kip Kipling. Yeah, Kipling. I'm trying... Sorry, guys, but Willoughby Kipling, if you guys don't remember, this guy showed up back in episode four, came come to the mansion to see Niles, but he wasn't there because he was trying to get him to help him with the whole end of the world thing with the destroyer and the recreator and stuff. I can't remember all of that part of all specifically all i just know is to find out that this guy's returning to us i am all for it because i love that guy the guy who played as will willoughby kipling and he's going to be visiting niles and stuff i wonder what's going to be going on there because we never really got too much on their relationship i mean we got a little bit of it but i'm glad this is going to give us a more e exploration on their friendship even more now like who knows? Maybe he's gonna help help get them back to normal. Maybe they need some magic to help them out here. And on Cyborg, he'll be like, "No, that wasn't magic." Because if I remember correctly, in that episode, Cyborg was like, "This is not magic. There's gotta be a scientific explanation for this," which is understandable when you think about Cyborg because technology and everything—that's all him now. At first, when before he became Cyborg, all sports and stuff. But even then, I'm pretty sure he didn't believe in all this magic and everything. But then comes Cyborg, he's got to be worrying about computer techs and everything. So yeah, this will be interesting to see. But definitely, guys, I love what we're getting here. These, these first couple of teaser photos and that poster, boy, I am enjoying this. I cannot wait. This is promises to be exciting. But guys, that's all I'll have for today. And once again, be on the lookout as I start to make a few more multiple videos, especially my recap for Season 1 for some of y'all who want to be caught up with it if you don't have time. I got you covered because I'm already starting to work on that. But until then, guys, that'll be all for today. And if you're enjoying my videos, all you got to do is click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to be notified when I make more videos. And until then, Make a Geek Mixer, signing out. Bye!